Hey hi YouTube, Mr. Who's Boss here, and this video is about the NVIDIA Shield controller. So I've been having an incredible time with the NVIDIA Shield tablet, and this is basically one of the key things that sets and it so apart. in this video I'm going to be comparing it to the Xbox 360 controller, which is previously believed to be the industry leader in controller design. So, the Xbox 360 has very responsive buttons, they all feel very tactile, and even the joysticks and the D-pad are very nice indeed. So all the buttons on the Xbox 360 controller have a lot of travel, and that's what makes them both responsive and pleasurable to use. Although this actual controller is very slim down the middle, you have to bear in mind this is the wired model. If I'd bought the wireless one, then that would mean that it would have a very large battery pack clipped onto the back, so it ends up being about the same thickness as the Nvidia Shield tablet controller. In terms of weight though, the 360 controller is pretty much unbeaten. So taking a look at the Shield controller, I absolutely love the finish on it, it's definitely better than the Xbox 360 one and it feels like you're paying about twice as much for it, which to be honest you are. The joysticks are even smoother and honestly I didn't think that was possible. The Xbox 360 ones just have a tiny bit of friction and it's only really noticeable after you use these ones. The buttons themselves are probably not quite as nice, I don't actually like them as much as the Xbox 360 ones but they're still decent, in fact I think those are actually identical to the ones found on the original Shield. Now one really cool thing is this one actually has a touchscreen interface. The three buttons, the home, start and back key, are fully touchscreen. And we also have a touchpad on the bottom, which is clickable, a bit like the touchpad on the MacBook, and it feels awesome. The actual volume control keys are also tactile feedback, so this actually feels like a much more fully featured controller, which has been designed to work with a much more advanced operating system, which is Android. So yeah, the controller is thicker, but bear in mind this has a very large capacity battery built in, and it promises at least 10 hours of gaming time. Also, bear in mind that this is ultra low latency, so the actual input lag that you're getting on this is even less than the controllers on the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4, and that's impressive. The trigger buttons are absolutely amazing. These are the best trigger buttons I've felt, and far surpassed the ones on the 360. I really, really like the feel, and they are absolutely silent. We also have the headphone jack on the top. I actually think on the bottom, like on the 360, is a little bit more convenient, but nonetheless, it's still a good idea. So to conclude this video, I would actually say that the Shield tablet controller is the best I have ever seen or used. I've used all the existing controllers on the Xbox One, PlayStation 4, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and just about every Android wireless one. And this is the best. It's got an incredible weight to it, and it fits perfectly in the hands. All the joysticks, the buttons, and the triggers feel absolutely awesome, and I think they've just taken the shield to a whole new level here.